Hey, what's going on, y'all? Tania B here, all right, with Let's Be Candid. So, you know, today I just wanted to really just talk about uh, knowing when you are like for real getting abused, okay? Because there's been times, you know, in my own life, you know, where I've been on both sides, okay? Like, even though I'm dominating, I'm predominantly talking about, you know, from the perspective of the actual abuser, you know, I have been, you know, abused from another person and I definitely have been the abuser. Okay. Um, so I wanted to just, you know, quickly just speak about, you know, what are some signs that you're dealing with an abusive person? Okay, so I'm just speaking from my own experience and, you know, you may have other things that you can drop in the comments of things you may have experienced i may not have personally experienced this but i'm just really speaking specifically on things that i have done and with my lovers okay um so here's one i remember when i was talking with a girl we was just dating at the time like we wasn't like official or anything like that and i remember that she was still you know like cool with her her ex-girlfriend right and I actually went to college with the girl and like we, we was cordial and stuff like that. This was before I even knew I even liked her her girlfriend and stuff like that. But, you know, like we wasn't like super cool, but, you know, we was, you know, wave and stuff to each other. Say, hey, how are you? And I remember when I realized that I had liked the girl and we started talking and like we started kind of to date or whatever. Just to, like it was very fresh, you know. And I remember saying like um, when she was with her her ex girlfriend, I remember telling her like, well, if I said if we get together, y'all ain't gonna be friends, right? And she just like looked at me and just started laughing. However, I'm just saying that was a flag. That was a huge red flag of jealousy, of possessiveness. Okay, you know, of being controlling. Like I literally just said that all like right then and there. You know, like that was that was a, a message right there for her to know. You know, like of course me being in it, I didn't, I wasn't realizing like I was being like jealous or controlling anything like that. But now that I'm out the situation, definitely a red flag. Okay, <laughs> like we wasn't even together, and I'm already dictating. You know, uh, regardless if we were together or not, you should not be getting dictated of who you should be hanging around with or whatever the case may be. You know, but. That was definitely a red flag, okay? That was that was one. Let's see. Another one. Let's see. Another thing that I have did, you know, with my... Actually, I did that several times at my relationships where I told, like, my girlfriends, like, oh, no, you can't hang out with that person because they want to fuck you, you know? Like, can you not see it? Like, oh, look, it's a little rabbit. Oh, let me see. Nah, no, I'm just going to keep talking, but it's a little rabbit right there. It's so cute. I love it. All right, so what I was saying, oh yeah, it's been several times that I had did that in my relationships where I told my partners like, no, you can't hang out with that person because they want to fuck you. Like, can you not see it? And a lot of them were saying, no, they don't, you know? And like, I don't know if they really was like naive to it, but I guess me being so damn jealous and possessive, I kind of thought like almost everybody wanted to fuck my girlfriend, anybody who's like being nice to them or, but some of them really did though, okay? They really did. Because I was being nosy, you know, and going up like on their social media account. And that's another red flag too. If you got your boo, whatever, going up on your social media account, like dude, like that's a that's a huge red flag. That's a huge red flag. I'm just, look, I'm just telling my business. I'm just thinking out loud and I'm putting it on video, okay? I'm just telling my business. I sure enough did that. I went up on my, my girlfriend's um like Facebook. I remember going up on her Facebook Messenger, right? And I was going through her, her in her messages, and I remember seeing this one particular, this one particular uh, message from this girl. Now it says she didn't read it. Who knows? You know, in my mind, she opened it and just marked it, came back and put unread. You feel me? But it's all good. She didn't respond. However, you know, the girl is literally said like. I know you're dating that new girl, blah, blah, blah. And during the time, it was me, right? She said, I know you're dating a new girl, but look. she. But it seems like, oh, but I want to fuck you so bad. Like, let's just get together. She, your girlfriend don't got to know. Like, I want to fuck the shit out of you, right? I'm just like, 
this motherfucker you know so of course me i'm just getting upset but then i don't want to tell my girlfriend you know like you can't hang out with this person because she she wanted a message and said that she want to fuck you because you know like i ain't trying to, i wasn't trying to out myself that i was being like super jealous and 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 you know being all sneaky and stuff so i kind of had to hold it in until it was like a little argument you feel me i just like burned it out you know when you get mad you just start saying all types of shit so that's kind of like what i did right so that was another thing if you find like your, your boo is going through like your stuff like your social media accounts going through your text messages and stuff like that uh that's a huge red flag and also for people who were like me going through you know your boo stuff first of all they can delete stuff okay second of all like dude like i realized that whatever is done in the dark always come to light now i really didn't grasp that then but it always comes to light even though it may not happen right then when you want but if your partner is doing something you know it will come to light it may not happen that day that week month hell it may you may find out maybe years later but it will come out it always does but like if you find i'm talking about people who's on my end but if you find yourself feeling like you got to go through your partner's personal information like their their social media or their phone their text messages and stuff like that and we, you really need to uh evaluate yourself you know like why am i doing this why am i trusting this person because more than likely you're probably not trusting yourself now i really didn't think about that even though i didn't like physically like cheat on my partners you know i was still <sighs> Sometimes I was like emotional cheating because I felt like my partner wasn't giving me enough tension. But that's another thing too, you know, because I was seeking something from them that I wasn't giving myself. I'm going to say that again, okay? I was seeking something from my partner, which was affection. I was seeking affection from my partner, but I wasn't giving affection to my own self. So how could I even possibly receive it? Even if they were giving it to me, how can I possibly even receive it if I'm not giving it to myself? So, in return, it manifested into me still talking to other girls. Even though I was still scared. Because some of my girlfriends, like, I was kind of scared of them. I ain't going to lie. Like, even though I, like, I was still being an asshole. But I was still, like, scared of them, you know. Because they, some of them were a little crazy. I was crazy, too. You, we attract who we are. But I wasn't trying to take it, like, that far to the point where... Some they probably like react in a crazy way, you know. I was never the type to probably like break stuff, whatever, but I feel like they were because they did some of that stuff before, you know. But that's another video, so that's another thing going through your phone and stuff like that. All right, I'm just going to get three of them real quick because I said I wanted to make this a quick video. I'm just thinking this right off the top of my head. Um, all right, so another sign that you know that you are dealing with someone who definitely is you're you're it's, it's a, an abusive relationship i would have to say what is something that i've done? I've done so much just dumb stuff in my relationships man it's not even funny man all right what's something else that i had done in my relationship that was not cool all right all right here's another thing i remember i did not want my partner to get certain jobs because i felt that if they work a certain place, they will attract certain people. Like, I remember one time my girlfriend said that she wanted to work at Hooters, right? And I'm just like, fuck no. You can't work at Hooters. You know, like, you want to have them on short shorts. Your titties want to be out. People want to be staring at you, trying to holler at you. You know what I'm saying? Probably trying to, like, grab you up. I don't know. Like, all of this stuff just started playing in my mind, right? So, I wasn't supportive. for. I wasn't supportive for them you know and another thing like one of my girlfriends wanted to be a stripper one time i'm trying to make this short because i can make i can probably talk about this this topic probably for like seven hours right but i'm just gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it really short one of my girls wanted to be a stripper and i was devastated like yo i was devastated that she wanted to be a stripper because all I saw her was every night just fucking somebody for money, right? And so I was not supportive. I was like, that was so a trying time in my in my life, you know. Like I would like cry, you know. I would like beg her not to do it. I would just be like, oh my gosh, you know, like you're gonna cheat on me. 
<laughs> you're gonna cheat on me and it was just so bad y'all like she actually like tried to break up with me like two or three times and every time like i would just start like sweet talking again and watch out for the sweet talking okay because i trust me i've done that multiple times like my girls my last girl just tried to break up with me and like at least seven times and and all seven times unless except for like that eighth one but all seven times i would sweet talk myself back in the relationship you feel me until it finally like just finally just got cut off right she wanted to be a stripper i hated it i hated it so bad because i was so insecure and i didn't trust her i didn't trust her because i didn't trust myself and so damn that was such a hard time man however fast forward even though i left out like a ton of stuff you know maybe i make another video about that and uh but it'll be, it'll be in my future book though my book that i'm writing now but fast forward of that after a lot of like we went with the counseling for that stuff you know and um after a while i got used to it and i next i would you know tell her how beautiful she looked go with her when she had shot for certain clothes and it was genuine like I had a, a sense of calmness to myself and a lot of it was dealt with too because she was so comfortable in her skin she was so comfortable with herself that she was going to leave me if I would not be a vibrational match that she was on okay so I had to literally just stop with my my bullshit my lower vibrational self and vibrate higher to where she was at because i didn't want to be alone and i didn't have the strength to leave you know so i told her she gave me the greatest gift when she had left me because i would have never like found myself again i started to love myself again but yeah so that was like just three things all right so like what was the first one that i said you know people dictating who you can hang around with first sign that's that's you about to be in a abusive relationship or you are in a relationship abusive relationship uh second one you know um shit i forgot what i said with the second one y'all you just re just rewind it but i know the third one dictating if like your workplace and stuff like that you find oh the second one was like going through your, your spouse's uh phones and stuff like that and then the third is you know going uh dictating if you want them to you know have like a certain job because like you're insecure and everything like that so i just wanted to bring that to your attention i'll make more of this because it's like a ton it's a ton of different examples of when you're in an abusive relationship and like i said i am speaking predominantly from the actual uh, aggressor because I was very much so um, a active role uh, player in that realm of being the one who was who was doing that type of stuff and so yeah I will definitely do more videos on this I appreciate every one of you who's watching this and definitely you know like uh, subscribe um, all of the share it with anybody who you know may be in this situation right now and yeah, I mean, you got this if, if you need some like, you know, one on one or, you know, like coaching and stuff like that. Like I do speak with people um, one on one. Um, of course, you know, you, you want to pay. <laughs> I can't do this for free. Um, that, that's why I'm doing these videos, you know, free content. But yeah, and just call me or you text me and then we can like get like a complimentary session going on to see if, you know, you and I vibe. I know I'm not going to vibe with everybody and I'm totally cool with that. You know, I don't want to vibe with everybody, but I know there's some of you who are definitely in my soul tribe, you know, who, you know, we are here for each other, you know, like we're going to be each other's ride or die. So you can uh, hit me up, you can text me and we can see where, where we land and stuff like that. Um, I'm at 248-17-A-B. That's 248-17-A-B. All right, guys, I love you. Keep loving yourself. <laughs> All right, peace.